Pandemic Flu by Jenna Worcester. The question is always if we should stay in isolation or not. Is it better to sacrifice so many in order to preserve the most influential years of your life? It doesn't really affect you, so why should we be forced to stay inside while the world is just waiting? At this point, to be able to venture out into the world seems like a gift. But when you leave, you surround yourself with the dangers of the world. When you leave, you're all alone, six feet apart. So how you miss the simplicity of human contact. If you find someone willing to talk to you, you're considered lucky, not used. You may have to give it all you have and put it all out on the line just for a chance to feel human again. That's the beauty of this dark time. You find the people that are willing to risk it all just like you are. It's a gift if you can find a friend in the void, but they always end up leaving you. And just like that, you're alone again. No one to talk to, no shoulder to cry on, just you. You eventually find a sort of comfort in the loneliness. Your heart and soul adjust and learn you're all you've got. You just learn to keep moving, to not think about it. Despite trying to block it all out, for some reason, you search for a home, despite never finding it. You just want a place where you can really feel safe, like yourself. Once you find a place that was once maybe called a home, you can take a second to yourself. Take a deep breath after you've been clenching your lungs in fear of what could happen in the outside world. When you look in the mirror, you may not even recognize yourself. You search for what used to be you, for the parts of you that you thought would never change. You end up taking the remaining bits of your dignity and pride to convince yourself everything is normal, that nothing's changed. And you wipe away all the evidence displayed on your face, the reality that you can't escape. And you just try to forget for a moment. When you find a piece of the past and dream that it could be your future, you might regret looking for it. When you were little, it was fun to pretend you could have a life you could never have. So you print them, and now when you look at them, it just hurts. <laughs> it gets to the point where it keeps you up at night and you cry yourself to sleep. The pain that it causes keeps you up to shut down still wake up the next day and continue your search for something just a little bit better than the day before. And that's all we can really do. Hope. Hi! So, um, I wanted to talk about my soliloquy project and how I kind of changed Hamlet with my directorial style and all that stuff. So, um, I kind of wanted to do a text-to-world comparison because I feel like what most of our country is going through can relate a lot to Hamlet, especially like the senior class, you know, like we're just kind of like, what, like, why did this have to happen to me? Like, you know, like it just kind of sucks. Everything, everyone is in kind of like a sucky position and, um, you know, we're contemplating a lot, whether it be like you know, our mental health is kind of sinking or whatever. And so I, I thought it was very applicable to, you know, our, our situation as, you know, a, a country and as, you know, a global citizen. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to keep things very natural, very organic, um, especially since, you know, I w we're in isolation and, you know, I did all this while we the stay at home was still in place. Um, so everything, I wanted to keep everything just me, very organic, very isolated, um, and very natural. The only thing that you'll kind of see, um, is at the beginning where I kind of, there's this kind of, um, time.
time period where it starts very industrial, right? So we have the construction supplies in, you know, the forest, and it becomes more organic um, until the point where you see me and where I start, you know, complaining about life. Um, but yeah, and I just wanted to keep it very, um, very personal, very, um, you know, uh, impactful, hopefully. Um, but I'm really proud of how it turned out. And um, yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed it because I, I worked hard. Um, my dog was a pain in the butt to get in this film, but it was I I think it was good. <laughs>